Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. So God is saying that it's time to be planning your next move because if you don't plan your next move, the changes that are coming might shock you. You might not be ready for the changes which are coming. So you might even be moved. You might even be shaken. So it's important that you begin to prepare for your next move. Planning is a godly thing. Planning is a godly thing. I remember when I was still in corporate, I think it was even before the time of COVID, I decided that, no, I need to sell this um, particular car of mine. I was like, I'm not even using this car and I'm not happy with the installment of the car. And then I sold the car. And then a few months later, guess what happened? There was COVID and then at work, they even reduced our salary by, was it 30% or what? I forgot the percentage. And I was like, wow, look at me now. I'm fine. Even though they've cut my salary, I have the money because I had already sold my car it's like it's it, i did not even know what was coming but i was already ready for it and also at that particular time it came to me that no by the following year i need to be uh leaving my job i need to be starting my own thing at that particular time i did not even know what i was going to be doing but i wrote it in the plan that by this day i need to be leaving my job i need to be leaving my work and guess what happened a couple of months after i made that decision the company went through a restructuring they said that they are restructuring so many people they lost their positions so i did not lose the job but i lost the position i was in i got demoted so even when those things were happening i was ready for it because mentally i had shifted because my plans were aligned it's like i did not even know that the company was going to go through a restructuring but i had already made a plan for the next moves hallelujah so god is also saying in your life you need to plan our god is a god who plans that is why he says, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So it means God also has plans about our lives. He has the 10-year plan. He has the 30-year plan about our lives. He doesn't, he doesn't just do things as they come. He plans ahead. Hallelujah. So God is also saying in your life, it's important to plan your next move. Yes, right now, you might not even know how things are going to work out. You might not even have the right resources. But the moment you begin planning, God begins giving you the answer. Us. God begins to agree with you. That is why when you read the book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 1, the Bible says we can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. Verse 3, commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Hallelujah. So it means that if you don't make the plans, there is no right or wrong answer that you are going to get from the Lord. It means you are not going to get any answer. But when you make the plan, God begins to give you the answer which is right. God begins to guide you that this is how you should be doing it. God begins to show you that this is when you should be doing it. That's when you have a plan. That is why the Bible says commit your plans to the Lord. Commit your actions. So if you don't have a plan, what actions are you committing? What works are you committing? So that is why God is saying that begin to plan your next move because when you plan it is god who makes your plans to succeed so if there is no plan that you have there is no success that is going to come there is no great success that is going to come god is giving you the permission today to plan ahead so that when things begin to come they don't shock you they don't move you so that even when people all people around you might be crying about the economy might be crying about certain things you know that you are not going to be moved because you had already made plans in advance because you already had a plan about your life so it's time to have a plan about your next week have a plan about your next year have a plan about five years from now have a plan about 10 years from now you might not know how things are going to work out but god is saying that once you have your plan god now comes and gives you the right answer when you commit those actions to the lord god makes those plans to be successful in the mighty name of jesus amen